Hello, this is Professor Morgan showing you how to set up the references page for APA Style, the latest edition. This is being recorded in December of 2023. And so in a previous video, I showed you how to format the front page, uh, which is right here. Okay, and then I showed you how you could go ahead and then set up the rest of your paper. Okay, um, so now we're going to set up the references page. Okay, and um, whether you saw the first video or not so here's a little cool trick you're going to do is that once you're done with your paper so this is a, the very last thing that you've done this is the very last thing you've written for your paper right here okay um, you go to insert and you go to page break and that'll put you to the top of the next page okay and then what you want to do is go back to the home button and center actually we need to go home and then because it actually tabbed over and we want to make sure it's actually centered centered so make sure this is all the way over to where it needs to be okay and then we hit center there that looks better okay now in MLA style they call this works cited in APA they decided they wanted to be different because why not they're going to call it references okay so it's not works cited it's not hey this is my list whatever it's references and it is in bold okay we're gonna make a bold okay bold okay so now it's referenced as and it's in bold now again you should if you set up your other paper properly um your paragraphing should be set up kind of correctly so we're gonna have to monkey with it just a little bit for the references page so right now i have it set up where everything is double spaced we're not adding spaces between lines of the same style okay um so that's kind of the way that we have it set up okay so i'm going to hit enter and it's going to be still centered and notice that it's still in bold so we're going to unbold it okay and then i'm going to go all the way to the left okay now depending on where you get your sources from and this is this video is not about this this is just showing you how to uh format the paper so i'm just going to put in um a few different sources that uh i supposedly used in this um in this document okay and let's just put, so okay so these are the sources and they are not correct, by the way, the way that I'm doing this. I am I am throwing you a curveball here on purpose, okay? And I'm going to probably kick myself for doing this because it's going to cause me a headache later. Okay, but I want to show you some of the common mistakes. Okay, so, so we have, so, okay, we're going off the premise that this information here is the properly cited um, MLA stuff. I'm sorry, not MLA, APA stuff. And generally when you go to... Um, credible sources they can actually find a way there's their citation things that actually create you know to make sure that you have all the information you're that you need to have we're not focusing on that we're just focusing on how to create the references page in microsoft word okay so the first thing i've noticed is i've got a problem so i've got one two three four uh sources but um they are not in the correct formatting so it's really kind of hard to tell where one source starts and one other source begins so what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight all these okay i'm going to go back to my paragraph button up here Oop. okay now i still got this at double spacing i still have this got that checked because we don't want to add spaces between everything should be double spaced now under indentation we're going to go to special and we're going to change this to hanging and watch what happens oh so that's one source right there and then that's one source what yeah so the first line is all the way to the left and then it kind of like tabs in whatever that is called a hanging indent so it's very clear where um, each source begins that is cool okay it's but we're still wrong <laughs> what but professor morgan what's wrong okay Let's see if you can figure out what's wrong i'll give you three seconds three two one okay everything in the reference page needs to be listed alphabetically by the last name of the first source that you have here or if you if there's not a source maybe if, if there's not a you know again if if it's not if you don't have an author then it would be 
the standard APA thing of like the name of the the uh, the source the uh, article or whatever. Okay, so I need to change these and or out of order. So I'm like, okay, well, let's see. Uh, now I have to do a little bit of uh, figuring stuff out. So I'm just going to uh, highlight A because that's comes first. Right click, hit copy, go up here, and I'm going to just space down, and then I'm going to right click again, and then hit uh, paste. Okay, so now. That one's there. I can delete this one out. I'm just going to highlight it, hit my delete button. Okay. And let's see. Let's, let's, so yeah, I should have, should have done more than just A's and B's, huh? Wouldn't that have been something? Okay. So what's next? Uh, Bader's in the correct place. And then ball would be next. Okay. So then we're going to just, actually, it would be easier because I've only got the four sources here. Let's just copy this one here and put that down here. Make sure it's all the way to the left. And then I'm going to paste that bad boy right there and then just get rid of that. Okay, so now I have them in alphabetical order. Okay, so that is how you set up your references page. So again, references is in bold. It's not works cited. It's references. Everything is in alphabetical order and it uses the hanging indent. Everything is double spaced without any extra gaps. All right, there you go. Have fun. Fun.